Welcome back to News 2 Midday. Charlie James is back with us for the recap of this week's biggest story. So, Charlie, let's get right into it. Yes. Everyone talking about health care this morning. The in American yeah. the American Health Care Act yep. got passed by the Senate yesterday. A lot of people were calling into the program this morning, either very much for it or very upset about it. Mm -hmm. But listen, what you're seeing with the American Health Care Act that got passed by the Senate, the, uh, the House yesterday, is nothing like what the final bill is going to be. Of course, it's got to go to the Senate. The Senate is going to put their own spin on it. They're going to add their own amendments. They're going to add their own wording to this. Then it's got to go back to a committee. Then the committee has got to come up to some sort of an agreement before they even send it to the president's desk. So whatever you're seeing right now, we don't know what the Senate is going to send back. It could go in a 57 Chevy and come out a Model T. It could go in a 57 Chevy or come out a Ferrari. Mm. Right now, we have no idea what this health care is going to be like this is just the initial stage nothing to get too upset about right now we did notice that no democrats voted for this and 20 republicans voted against it there's going to be a very razor thin margin of mm -hmm. error once it gets to the senate for it to even pass to go on to the next step so uh, we've got a long way to go in this process as usual the wheels of government do turn slow Right, and uh, it's, why don't we move on to the next story? Yeah. I want to talk about Michael Slager. Right. Pled guilty this week on yes. federal charges. Pled guilty to mm -hmm. violating Walter Scott's civil right, uh, rights. And what this did, it really saved our community once again from having to go through another trial the same way that we did with Dylan Roof and the Emanuel 9 shooting. Uh, the state is now dropping their charges against Slager for the murder trial, which remember, his last murder trial, that ended in a, a hung jury or a mistrial, and this will save us from having to go through the agony of another trial with Michael Slager. And this has been a very long process. Yes. And not only that, yeah. but paired along with the trial of Dylan Roof, right. this has seemed like to drag on for a very long time. And maybe we can finally put all of this behind us, and really now the community can start healing again. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk about the comments made by Stephen Colbert yes. this week because it's also been a big talker. A lot of people right. saying he went a little too far. Well, this is what happens when you let politics consume you completely. We all know that we're all involved in politics. Colby, you and I, we talk about it every single day as part of our lives. However, when politics starts to consume you and you start playing uh, team politics. This is what happens. He, this was not a political commentary that he made. This was an anger-filled tirade, and it went, be, went beyond decency. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, you should be able to express your opinions about the President of the United States without being vulgar, without being crude, without going to the extremes that what I call Charleston's own embarrassment, uh, Stephen Colbert went to on his show on Monday night. I thought it was a disgrace, and I don't, you know, I, I am one of those guys that looks back to a uh, host like Johnny Carson and Jay Leno. Mm -hmm. You would have never seen this coming out of their mouths. Um, we've got to get back to a time in this country where decency and common respect is the norm and not the exception. The Late Show moved into that number one yeah. spot, and a lot of people think it's because of the, the constant Trump jokes. That's exactly what it was because of. I mean, he was getting trounced by Jimmy Fallon uh, on, on The Tonight Show. Then he started doing his heavy hits on Donald Trump. He moves into the number one slot, and now you've, you've noticed that Fallon is starting to pick up his critiques on Donald Trump. It's, I call it the Saturday Night Live syndrome. They're all trying to outdo each other, and the bar for nastiness got raised on Monday night. All right, Charlie James, thank, thank you. you so much. And you guys can catch Charlie Monday through Friday on the TMA Morning Show through 6 o'clock in the morning until 10, 10 a.m. And uh, you can also follow Charlie on Twitter. Username Charlie on air. We'll be right back.